The next example I want to talk about is something really cool that we've done to ignite not just an organization, but really to ignite an industry. And the industry I'm referring to is the geo-int community or the geo-intelligence community. During the Cuban Missile Crisis, intelligence was gathered over Cuba by monitoring activities through the capture of photography and through the very manual and tedious process associated with sifting through and looking at all these prints and photographs, the electronic light table was a power horse and a very instrumental tool and workbench for providing insight and intelligence for people to do their jobs and ultimately make decisions. But as we move towards a modern era, a new form is required by the defense and intelligence agencies who are increasingly pressured to make decisions very quickly, which means they need intelligence at their fingertips. And analysts whose job it is to do that need to quickly connect to multi-source content and then exploit that content and quickly turn it around and deliver geo-intelligence to support the mission at hand. And at this conference, I'm super pumped to announce a new application, a new cloud app called MapX. Why X? Because it's the cross-section and the synthesis of image processing and image exploitation and geospatial exploitation and GIS. We've taken GIS and remote sensing and fused them together in a web browser operating in the cloud for the GeoInt community. It's a web-based geospatial light table for modern defense and intelligence agencies, giving them a 360-degree form for doing intelligence and exploitation against multi-source content that's being collected by agencies. I want to show you an example. Here you have a satellite image. And the use case, or at least the example I want to show here is a planning process to, to determine and work through an extraction process. If you have a soldier down or you have to retrieve an individual from an area of interest, you need intelligence on the conditions in field. That includes conditions that include the terrain, the vegetation, and most importantly, where do you need to land the helicopter in order to extract those individuals. We've implemented over 450 exploitation services that are now available through this platform for the GeoInt community to exploit multi-source content in order to do these sorts of workflows. By running these processes, you could then move forward and deliver reports that can be shared and used by others in order to quickly make decisions. MapX also provides the necessary fundamental exploitation capabilities required to connect to multi-source content, quickly view it in a web browser, and start exploiting it, which includes things like measurement, looking at terrain uh, profiles, assessing terrain conditions, running analysis against those data sets, and doing things as simple as just annotating, looking at an area of interest over a period of time, running some change detection, and ultimately annotating things that have changed by typing in text and ultimately leading towards the process of creating a report that can be delivered and used by others. Working together with Intergraph Government Solutions, we spent the last 18 months doing this, okay, for the GeoInt community, for the purpose of providing a new form to experience geo-intelligence in the modern age, and it's a very cool application.